I don't do intros. How you guys doing today? I'm doing all right today. Today I have for you guys a very special video. It is Return to Yarnum in 2024 this year. That means of course we are uh, back here in Bloodborne doing some invasions. Uh, I'm on my level 80 build, my Moonlight Madman build. Um, Hey man, we're gonna have a fun time in this video, but before we get into Bloodborne and where I've been for the last month or so, uh, I wanna ask you guys to like and subscribe to the video, man. I know it's been a while, but you know, we're here, we're back. I'm gonna try to be as consistent as I can. I'll talk about some of that stuff in this video. Um, but for now, guys, and just enjoy the, uh, the Bloodborne invasions this year, man. They've been, uh, iffy and whatnot, but I'll talk about that. Um, also, go follow my Twitch if you haven't already. I do stream there sometimes. I took a little bit of a break this month, but I do stream there. Uh, mostly Elden Ring stuff, because of course that's the most popular game right now uh, for the Soul series. And uh, go join the PvP Builds Discord if you haven't already. Uh, that's for all games, not just Elden Ring. And uh, yeah guys, let's talk about um, where I've been for the last month and, and then we'll talk about some uh, some Bloodborne 2024 Return of the Arnhem event and whatnot. That guy was murdered by worms. Interesting. Uh, anyway, so um, you might have noticed I kind of just stopped uploading and stopped streaming for about a month. Uh, the truth is, man, over the last three four months i just really have not been in the mental space for youtube making and uh and streaming and whatnot life has been really rough on me and it, it's just been really really hard um to play any video games at all let alone stream them and, and make content about them and whatnot um but you know i'm trying my best i really am and uh I hope you guys are patient with me, man. I know some of you really, really enjoy the videos, and I'm trying to uh, be the best me I possibly can be uh, for you guys and for myself and whatnot. Um, now, with that being said, I did start a new job uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's nothing intensive. It's a it's a part time job at a uh, at a liquor store, pretty much. Um, and it's pretty good. I actually really like it. I work with my cousin. It's great. It's really, really helped me out. Um, now, I would like to spend most of my other time making videos for you guys. And, you know, um, I do have enough... Uh, I do meet the requirements to apply for a YouTube partnership and get my videos monetized and whatnot. I'm already affiliated on Twitch as well. Um, so ideally, the rest of the time that I'm not working, I, I would love to spend video making. The problem is, you know, the mindset, the depression and whatnot, right? Um, I am trying to, uh, you know, just get into the space of making videos again. Um, I'm sure I'll get there slowly. I'm sure we'll, we'll peak again. But for now, guys, just... Please be patient with me. I'm not going to be as consistent as I was before. Um, and it would really help me out, too, if you guys would actually just, you know, tell me what you might want to see and whatnot. Uh, maybe I'll start running polls on the channel so I can, you know, direct myself a little bit better. Um, but enough of that talk, man. You guys are here for Bloodborne. It is Bloodborne Return to Yarnum 2024 what's popping man what's popping uh so i've already said this already but i am on my blood level 80 build uh this is my moonlight madman which seems to be like a really popular build here on the channel man um like i posted the moonlight madman video a long time ago when people are still watching and people are still commenting on it um a lot of you guys have found me through my Bloodborne videos, and there aren't many Bloodborne videos, but there are some. <laughs> um, yeah, man, kind of crazy. Uh, crazy because I mostly produce Elden Ring stuff, so, you know. If you guys are here from Bloodborne, man, I really do appreciate you guys. 
Uh, I love this game. I've said this multiple times. This game is my favorite game of all time. I love just about everything about it. I love the PvP. I love the PvE. I love the gameplay. I love the weapons. I love the lore. Bloodborne is just from software. It's sickest game. And if you disagree, man, you're probably a PC player or an Xbox player. It's all I gotta say. Uh, Bloodborne 2 win. Uh, Bloodborne remake win. <laughs> Bloodborne remaster win, bro. I'm waiting for it all, man. I'm waiting for it all. Uh, yeah, man. But yeah, this is my uh, level 80 Moonlight Madman build. Again, a popular build here on the channel. I, re I really am glad you guys enjoy it. Uh, somebody commented on my Moonlight Madman build like maybe a couple of days ago. And again, that video was posted a long time ago. But someone commented on it a couple days ago. It's like they didn't, didn't even really watch the video. They just kind of skipped to the end and was like, yeah, this is shit. <laughs> Uh, he said that I should use nourishing gems on my weapon instead of uh, what I am using, which I think I have two physical gems on there and then one arcane gem. And uh, he's right, yeah. That's correct. Uh, the only problem is I don't care. <laughs> Uh, something about me and Bloodborne, man, obviously, if you have the best blood gems in Bloodborne, you, you're gonna win most of the time, right? But the problem is, is that some, sometimes these blood gems, they get absolutely ridiculous to the point where you're like one-shotting, two-shotting people. And for me, uh, on a game that's dead and, you know, no one's really playing it, I kind of want to take my fights that I do get very, very slowly. Which is why I heal, um, and it, you know, I heal during the fights. My weapon is, is fully maxed, but it's not, doesn't have the most craziest gems in it. Fights are prolonged, and that's what makes for great content in Bloodborne. Um, it's also just funner that way, because if I just was two-shotting everyone with the Moonlight Greatsword, oh, I'm sorry, the Holy Moonlight Sword, then, you know, what content would I have to show for it? Um... But yeah, he was right. The best gems to use on the Moonlight Greatsword, probably regardless of your build, is probably Nourishing Gems. Uh, for me, this is a 40 Strength and 21 Arcane build uh, at level 80. I'm not exactly sure if like those are the best stats um, or the best gems for the best stats. I don't know. Uh, I do know that Nourishing Gems would probably help like the the moon blast do a lot more than what they do right now uh but physically physically when it's in like the the, the normal great sword form this one right here the damage is pretty solid on it i mean look at that it's almost 400 damage on an r2 poke that's not even charged it's pretty solid um and the r1s on the uh on the transform state are pretty decent too the only thing that kind of is lackluster in terms of damage is the the uh the moon blast and you know that's kind of okay you know, like, the R2s on the weapon isn't, like, they aren't the most insane damaging thing ever. As a matter of fact, they're pretty low when it comes to damage. Um, but the L2 on this thing still freaking slaps, no matter, like, what the gems are on it. Um, and I'm okay with that, man. Like I said, um, I spend minimal time in the Chalice Dungeons. I mostly just use the False Depth Chalice Dungeons, and I, I grab like decent gems and then I just move on because I'm not spending hours in the Chalice Dungeon to, to like one shot or two shot people uh, and make fights last like 10 seconds. That To me that's just extremely boring and I kind of want no part of it. Um, but yeah guys, let me know what you guys are doing for the Return to Yarnum event. I think I might end up making another build on this game, probably like level 25 or something. I really want to uh, invade around Cathedral Ward, like, before Amelia, Because I just, man, I just love invading Yarnum, but, like, no one's ever there. That's the only problem. Um, so, yeah, I might end up making a, a level 25 build or something like that. And maybe do, like, a Sinister Run uh, this weekend or something. If you guys are, would be interested in doing a Sinister Run with me, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but with that being said, guys, uh, if you like this kind of content, this kind of Bloodborne content, this kind of invasions in the Soulsborne games, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the video, man. Um, go follow my Twitch if you haven't already. Go join my Discord if you haven't already. 
And uh, with that being said, guys, fare thee well, peace out, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys later, man. And and, and don't you dare go hollow, friends. I, I didn't forget that one, I promised. <laughs> all right, see you later, guys.